We have had long separate talks with Mr. Duncan Sun. Although he is not slow in disclosing his personal sympathies, he seems to be afraid to take decisions which would displease the Catholic hierarchy in Malta. His contention that he would not like to impose upon the Maltese people a constitution fashioned by himself is so much eyewash. We are only insisting on the introduction of measures which should have been in existence in Malta ever since the British landed there in 1800. Moreover, in almost all cases, the restrictions on individual liberties were originally imposed by the colonial office itself in order to carry favor with the powerful priest politicians. Mr. Duncan Sands has refused to give us assurances on the most vital aspects of the future democratic institutions of Malta. He has instead tried to play for time by proposing that a referendum should be immediately held in Malta to discover whether the Maltese people really want independence. To add insult to injury, he proposes that this referendum will be held in the same medieval atmosphere as that prevailing during the last general election. In these circumstances, there was no option to the Labour Party delegation but to walk out and leave the ground free for Mr. Duncan Sands to play politics with the delegations who boast of sheltering under the church's umbrella.